Since I was a little kid, all I wanted to do was race cars. You know, and this is the first chance I've got where it really feels real. The car's a 91 Honda CRX, and it's just, it was a, it was a junkyard car that we pulled out of a field to build a race car out of. Uh, I got introduced to the 24 Hours of Lemons as endurance racing for crap can cars. $500 budget, and the crappier and the weirder, the better. So it's a good way to resurrect a car that should go to the crusher. This is junk. Uh, we put the roll cage in, first roll cage I ever attempted to put in, borrowed a bunch of tools and bought tools and put a roll cage in it and bought a race seat and then decided what motor to put in the car. You know, we wanted something that was going to be um, really reliable and not beat itself up. You know, a lot of guys in Lemons run, you know, just straight 1.8 liter non VTEC motors or 2 liter non VTEC motors because they think they got to have you know, torque to get out of the corners. They're just beating themselves up. It's a lot of stroke and, you know, teeny tiny rod bearing underneath it. So now we went with a B16 motor which I've never liked a B16 motor. To me, it's a redheaded stepchild piece of junk motor that wasn't worth putting in any car because it has no displacement, but it's a square motor. And you know, it's, it's a stroke and bore are very, very similar, if not exactly the same. And you know, it's, it wants to rev. That's all it wants to do. And it won't beat up rod bearings. It won't tear up parts. You know, it's just gonna keep going. So with that $500 budget, it's nearly impossible to build something performance oriented if you really try to stick to the budget, which is what we did. When I put the car together, I had a, a timeline in my head. You know, we had to race, what, uh, first week of February. I said, I want the car done by December 1st, finished, so I can drive it back and forth to work. And so we slapped wheels on it and registered the thing. And I drove it to work for a month and just watched things, you know, that needed to be fixed. It had, you know, a bad axle here and there, because it's all crap, it's all junk. I pulled up out of piles. And, got from people for nothing. So it had, you know, bad axle here, a bad seal there. Uh, just little stuff, little teething problems. Drove it for a month, took it autocross once. It did well. And uh, so we took it racing. And uh, on the practice day, we had a couple little teething problems, you know, um, nothing major, easy stuff to fix. We didn't have to go to the store to fix anything. And uh, at the race, the actual race days, you know, Lemons does a, a 10 hour race on Saturday and a six to eight hour race on Sunday, depending on uh, where you're at. And uh, it's nonstop racing. You come in for fuel and off you go again. There's no time to wrench on the car. If you do, you're, you know, you're really falling behind the 85 other cars out there. how fast these really junky cars are going around the corners and around the corners is where the race is won you know so we just have to make it handle a little better and get uh, braver more seat time we all agreed that none of us found the edge of the tire you know we never were sliding the car ever uh, so really driver improvements probably paramount my, my very best friend experienced drag racer you know he was here earlier Joey He's got thousands of hours log drag racing. He came in after three laps and said, get me out of this car. I'm doing something wrong or this car is dangerous or something because everybody's way faster than me. Those cars are really fast going around the track. You figure it out after a few laps and you, you find your groove. Joey got his groove. Joey's fast. He's consistent. He does what he's got to do. People don't understand how fast these little cars will go. Sure, it looks like a piece of junk, but give a man a yo-yo and he's going to turn it into a competitive sport. Give a man a piece of junk car, it's gonna get really competitive really fast. You know, so they're fast. It's not a Sunday drive. It's a scary white knuckle, 80 mile an hour through turns, 100 miles an hour down the straightaway with cars five inches from you, you know. It's fast. And that's, 
If you want to write, pretend to be a race car driver, you should get an 11s. It's not terribly expensive. You get three of your best buddies, you build a four-man team, you split all the costs, you get to go have a fun weekend, camp, party if you party, you know, and race all day long. It's, it's ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of fun. It's the most fun I've ever had in a car. You know, it's, it's well worth it. If somebody wants to get into lemons, the first thing they do is obviously, you know, Google it. But if they don't want to get, if they're going to get intimidated by, you know, getting out there on the real lemons forum and talking to real lemons people, they can, they can call me. You know, I'm sure my name's going to be in this somewhere. Find me on Facebook, get a hold of me. I'll walk you through the whole thing. I'll help you build your car. I'll take you there. You know, that's, that's what lemons all about. You know, build a car, get out there and do it. You get to pretend to be a real race car driver for hours and hours and hours around a track. Who doesn't want to do that? You know, if you don't want to act like you're, you know, a real race car driver, then you don't make sense to me.